good morning one and all today we will see an important topic in fourth unit uh, bayesian network in the last video we have seen some key points in probabilistic reasoning like prior probability that is uh, unconditional probability and next one is post prior probability that is uh, conditional probability and the bayes theorem with some examples now we will recall the bayes rule and some details about bayesian network with some examples and now we recall the bayes theorem it describes the probability of an event based on prior knowledge of conditions that might be related to that event so the bayes theorem is p of a gives b is equal to p of b gives a into p of a divided by p of b here p of b gives a is a probability of evidence given the hypothesis and p of a is the prior probability of hypothesis p of b is the prior probability of evidence and now p of a gives b is the probability of hypothesis a conditional on new piece of evidence b this is called as bayes theorem the bayes theorem requires three terms one conditional probability p of b gives a and two unconditional probabilities p of a and p of b to just compute one conditional probability p of a gives b it represent a set of equations each dealing with specific value of the variables here a and b are random variables and uh, the values of those random variables should be given in the equations and we will also have an event to use more general version of conditional probability on some background evidence e so in the last video we have seen probability of sunny gives cloud and cold so here cold is a background evidence and uh, the equation general equation for this is p of x gives sorry p of y gives x comma e is p of x gives y comma e into p of y gives e divided by p of x gives e here e is the background evidence now we will see one example for uh, applying bayes rule in a medical diagnosis we have conditional probabilities on causal relationship that is symptoms and want to derive a diagnosis that is otherwise called as disease a doctor knows that the disease meningitis meningitis is uh, nothing but the brain fever caused by virus bacteria or fungi and the causes of meningitis is that will affect uh, brain and spinal so the patient uh, uh, may have stiff neck of 50% chance that is the probability of having stiff neck is 0.5 the doctor also knows some unconditional fact the prior probability that the patient has meningitis is 1 in 1150000 and the prior probability that a patient has stiff neck is 1 in 1200 with this data we try to solve what is the probability of meningitis when a patient having stiff neck let s be the proposition that the patient has stiff neck and m be the proposition that the patient has meningitis uh, we already have probability of uh, stiff neck because of meningitis is 0.5 that is 50% and probability of meningitis is 1 in 50000 and probability of stif uh, stiff neck is 1 in 20% then the probability of meningitis because of stiff neck is the probability of uh, stiff neck because of meningitis into probability of meningitis divided by probability of stiff neck is equal to 0.5 into 1 in 50000 divided by 1 in 20 is equal to 0.0002 so here we expect only 1 in 50000 patient have stiff neck to have meningitis and notice that even though the stiff neck is quite strongly indicated by meningitis the with the probability of 50% then the probability of meningitis is patient remain small this is because the prior probability of stiff neck is much higher than that of meningitis
And next we will move to Bayesian network. It is a data structure uh, also called as belief network, probabilistic network, casual network or knowledge map. The extension of Bayesian network is called as decision network or influence diagram. A Bayesian network is a directed graph in which each node is annotated with quantitative probability information. The full specification of Bayesian network is as follows. A set of random variables makes the nodes of network. Variable may be discrete or continuous. A set of directed links or arrows connected a pair of nodes. If there is an arrow from node X to node Y, then X is a parent of Y. Each node X has a conditional probability distribution that is P of X comma patient of X that quantifies each effect of parent on node on a particular node. It is directed as a click graph or otherwise called as DAG. And this is the simple Bayesian network here whether is an independent variable from cavity toothache and catch and then toothache and catch are conditionally independent given by cavity. And now we will move to another example of Bayesian network burglar alarm. If a thief or unknown person enter into your compound then the alarm rings. You have installed a new burglar alarm at your home. It is fairly reliable at detecting a burglary. That is, if any thief enters into your compound, then the alarm will ring. The alarm will also respond on occasions to minor earthquake. You also have two neighbors, John and Mary, who have uh, promised to call you when you are at home, when they hear the alarm. John always calls when he hears the alarm but sometimes confuses the telephone rings with the alarm and he calls them too. Mary on the other hand like sound music and sometimes misses the alarm altogether. So given these evidence of who has or has not called, we could like to estimate the probability of the and this is the Bayesian network for our example, each node is having its own conditional probability table CBT and in this diagram alarm is directly depending on burglary and earthquake but John and Mary are depending on only the alarm. So in each CBT they are having letters B is called as burglary, E is earthquake, A is alarm, J is John calls and M is Mary calls. From the network, the topology shows that burglary and earthquake directly affect the probability of alarm, but John and Mary depends on the alarm. Our assumptions from the network are they do not perceive any burglaries directly, they do not notice any minor earthquake and they do not discuss before calling. And the burglary alarm network does not uh, have any notes corresponding to Mary is currently listening to loud music or uh, the telephone is ringing that confusing the John. These factors are summarized in the uncertainty associated with the links from alarm to John calls and alarm to Mary calls. This shows both laziness and ignorance in the operation. The conditional probability table in the network gives the probabilities for the values of a random variable depending on the combination of values for the parent nodes. Each row must sum of 1 and all variables are boolean and therefore the probability of a true value is p and the probability of false must be 1 minus p. A table for boolean variable with k parent contains 2 power k independently specifiable probabilities. A variable with no parent has only one row representing the prior probabilities of each possible value of the variable. And that is all about uh, Bayesian network. So in this video up to this we have seen Bayes theorem with the meninges and stiff neck example and then Bayesian network with the burglar alarm example. And now the question time, uh, define Bayes theorem and Bayesian network. Uh, students, uh, these are only two more questions. Please give your answer in the 
comment box and uh, we will see in the next video with the new topic thank you all of you